Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Bushgrin. Today's video is all about the VK7201. And I'm making this video because I had a long, hard think about what was the tank in tier 10 that I considered the most under the radar or underrated. And I've come up with three different vehicles, one medium, one light, and one TD. And this is, um, sorry, one medium, one heavy, and one TD. I don't really think there's enough lights for an underrated light to be exist. exist. Um, and it's the VK7201. I made a video a long time ago about the VK and why it was so bad. And I kind of stand by everything I said at the time. But there was, it was new, okay? The VK was very new in the game. It's shit at side scraping because it's got these huge big weak points either side under the turret. And you've actually got this really, really flat side armor profile. So if you over angle even a little bit, you get destroyed. And it's gun handling is god awful. It's like 0.36 dispersion, two and a half second aim time with all your rations and stuff. It's slow. It's slow. It's got seven degrees of gun depression, but you're a rear mounted turret. So it's incredibly difficult to get shots off at targets that, you know, don't, aren't above you. Uh, if they're below you, you could be in real trouble. So it's easy to be side hugged. Why am I telling you all these bad things? Well, there is one thing the VK does. Now, when it first came out, it was new. So I did not really know what the VK does, did. And it's this insane armor profile that it has where the armor only really works angled on the nose, okay? So what you want to do with the VK7201 is get it to a corner and angle this schnoz at obscene levels and get people to bounce off the end of your schnoz and then wheel back out and shoot them. And you're gonna see me do a little bit of this in no short order, but it turns the VK from a tank that's bloody pointless <laughs> into a tank that could be really, really good. And in fact, wins a lot more games than you'd expect. When you angle this thing, uh, you can get that front nose on the upper glacis up to 500, 600 millimeters at the right angle before you get to an auto bounce zone. And there's only this tiny thin strip that's about 300 millimeters, a tiny strip across the front of it that's about 300 millimeters wide that you can occasionally get hit through. But it's so funny when you get this thing set up and you actually have people, they just waste so much ammunition on you. Um, you can see what I'm doing here, trying to get this uh, IS-7 to shoot me on the schnoz. It's more evident in the next game, which I will uh, show you. So it actually turns a tank that's kind of crummy into a tank that is actually very, very cool. You literally lead with your nose. <laughs> You're going into all the gunfights and instead of side scraping you can see what i'm doing here i'm not really side scraping what i'm doing is i'm giving him my nose and the 907's got zero chance like he's not going to pen jack here he really isn't going to pen anything and a lot of people when you start playing the vk they start using standard rear mounted tank tactics like the vk 9001 p like side scraping like that and it's a mistake you can't do that what you want to do is show this angled nose because it it kills them especially medium tanks uh, heavy tanks if you do that in open they will get shots at this big round turret ring in the area under the turret ring i don't know why this jaegeru isn't pushing either um he's saying hold position i'm like holding on for dear life here buddy just go get him. Just go get him. You've got all his hit points. Just go, go kill him.
What are you waiting for, my friend? Anyway, uh, EU has been really weird. I'm going to put that out there. I think there is no real meta on EU. Everyone just drives the way that their tanks point. I've never seen so many 7 nils on Asia. Uh, and also, there's a whole thing with EU where the average damage is much lower. And I think it's because people run lower tier tanks a lot. And then they come and play tier 10, which is pretty much all I play. And they have like a thousand average damage and go and run routes that work at tier six and seven and then don't work at tier 10 at all. Or you'll have a game on Middleburg with five mediums and all the mediums will go town and die and you just don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, I'm gonna show you this. This is a great example of the VK7201. And I thought it was very fitting because when I made the video saying the VK was the worst tank in Blitz, this is the map I believe where I really gave it a flogging. <laughs> because if you didn't know about this, you wouldn't really be able to drive this tank in any way, shape or form. And if you play this like a VK90, which is great for side scraping with those big flat E75 like sides, I'm gonna get pinned here by the Strev K at one point and he hits the, I actually, I'm like so surprised because normally I never get penned by that tank in this kind of position. But he hits a really lovely shot right in the actual pocket where you can pen this thing. Yeah, there, just there. I'm like, wow, that was impressive. Um, and I think I pull back and actually have a look. I'm like, where the hell did he pen me? Um, that was weird. All I'm doing is this weird thing where you, there it is. I'm like, what? And you can see he's hit me right, right on that edge. Like, wow, that's an impressive shot. Good on him. It doesn't happen again. Um, this is just a weird thing with this tank. Yeah. Nice trades. Nice trades. Nice trades. What other tank do you do this with where you're like, shoot at, Ma shoot at Maloa Glacis? Because Maloa Glacis is 350 millimeters. Please shooterize my lower Glacis. Like, you... This is literally everything you shouldn't do in tanks, but you're doing it anyway. Um, and I found it absolutely incredible. Like, oh, more of those nice traits. Lovely. We're trying to get up here and help our buddies as uh, things do get a little bit tight there. It's good against mediums and things like that too. It's able to very comfortably bounce a lot of shells from mediums, which a lot of tier 10 heavies can. But I just don't see this gun in the game very often. I, I don't see anyone in the game. I was not expecting to see that guy there. 100% uh, was not expecting to see him just sitting down the bottom side on. But, I mean, that's a trade you don't want to make. And it does make excellent trades like this. Look at this. I'm giving him the nose again. Come on. Shoot at the nose. You want the nose. I'll bounce that. Thanks very much. Uh, and then we're going to go down here. Get one from the, the back side. Not hard to believe that's happening. And we're just going to hit this T-57 Heavy for a whole bunch of damage. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, I still think, honestly, this is the most underrated T-10 Heavy. I've had so many games on this European tour where I've run this, guy, this tank and it's performed. Like when I was struggling to get wins. Ugh. It's not a great gun. I mean, that much is obvious. But when I was struggling to get wins, it's just absolutely zonked people. And I think one of the reasons for that is you don't fight against it a lot. And if you fight against it a lot, you'd probably get to know exactly where to shoot. And it would be important. But if you don't get a lot of opportunity to fight against this tank, you just won't. I mean... We've bounced a fair bit. We had a... They, they did a patch and I had a 6k pattern mastery and like a 5k damage, 5k bounced game mastery in the VK and they both disappeared. <laughs> Which sucks. <laughs> really sucked. So you had to get these ones because I'd already recorded them. Oh well, wins for us. That's the VK7201. My vote for most underrated tier 10 heavy. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your most underrated heavy or uh, 
medium or TD is for that matter and see how close you get. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.